Hey guys, welcome back to 80 Figure Unboxing. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and like the video so you won't miss the future content. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at a Mesco 112 Collective, Doctor Strange. And here's the left of the box, here's the right of the box, and here's the back of the box. And we have the usual Mesco style box, so you can take this out, and you can see the figure. And yeah, um, let's bust this thing open and see what we got. And here's the figure still in the inner packaging, looking very good, and let's check out the figure itself. Alright, so here we have the figure itself, and as expected from Mesco 112, the figure looks beautiful. I don't have any QC issues, but I think that's going to vary from figure to figure. But for me, everything is very nicely tailored, and I like all this attention to detail, and it's very nicely painted and sculpted. And yeah, um, let's jump straight into the articulation. And for the articulation, let's quickly go over it from the neck down. He can look up about this much, look down about this much, and you can turn his head no problem. Um, there's really nothing going on with the shoulder here. You can raise his arm up about this much. The cloth is actually quite flexible and you do get it hinged so you can move it like that as well. Um, no shoulder swivel or bicep swivel, but you do have a swivel here through the elbow and you can curl about this much, almost 90 degree, and you do get a bow wrist. Unfortunately, we don't have any ab crunch, which I don't really understand why they made it this way. The only reason I could think of is they are probably trying to prevent us from doing anything too crazy to tear the cloth or something, but I think this is a little bit of an overkill. Um, do let me know in the comments on what you think though. And for the leg, you can kick up about this high, bend about this much, which is pretty good. And we do get thigh swivels and pretty decent ankle pivot. Um, I don't think he can do the splits. Well, I think the articulation is probably there, but I'm not going to try because um, I feel really uncomfortable with the pants over here. And yeah, I believe that's it for the articulation. And let's check out the accessories. And for the accessories, we do get four kinds of style posing hands, but unfortunately, we only get one of each. Um, it would have been a lot better if we can get a pair for everything. And here's the other two style posing hands. And then we do get a close version of Amagato. And next up, of course, we have his cloak, which is very nicely tailored and wired on both sides. And the cool thing about this is this is actually magnetized. Um, I think more companies should do this. Like this works really, really well. And lastly, we do get some really cool magic effects and the projection, and they're all very nicely sculpted. Like it's beautiful. And yeah, um, let's check out some action poses. Anyways, that was just some quick posing, and I hope you guys enjoy them, and let's check out some size comparison. And for the size comparison, let us start with some Mesco 112 Collective, and Doctor Strange is actually quite tall. Hmm. And next up, we have some Dragon Ball SH Fig Arts. And then we have some Naruto SH Fig Arts. Some Street Fighters SH Fig Arts. And then we have some American IP SH Fig Arts. And lastly, we have some Figma figures, and let's jump straight into the final thoughts. Alright, so for the final thoughts, I think the figure is pretty decent. If you're a big fan of Doctor Strange, this one is definitely a must-have. But the lack of accessories and the articulation kind of bothers me. But yeah, um, I think that's it from me. Do let me know in the comments on what you think. And this is Eric. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Facebook and Instagram. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.